The deadly end uh, to the standoff between Somali pirates and the U.S. Navy came after days of negotiations. Military personnel on the scene were aided by the U.S. Federal Bureau of Investigation, which has for years, uh, or, or, or rather has years of experience negotiating in hostage situations. Joining us to discuss these techniques is former FBI negotiator Christopher Vos. Hello, Christopher. Hello, how are you today? I am fine. And now, uh, you see, in the situation in Somalia, we may go directly there. Uh, th think of yourself as uh, having been uh, the guy for the job. What is it that you need to first uh, know about the situation before uh, you embark on your mission? Well, there's not, there's not that much you really need to know in advance. It's more of carrying a mindset into it that's really important. And the negotiator's job is to try to get everybody in the middle of this out alive. Um, once it gets started, you begin to learn about who's in it. You want to know as, as much as you possibly can about the people individually in it. Um, and you want to know about the pilots. You want to know about the hostage. You want to know about how they came to be in the situation. And, and you really want to find a way to get everybody out alive. Now, somebody would uh, look at this kind of a situation and say, see, uh, it ended in violence. Some people died. Does that uh, disappoint a negotiator like you, that it did not end uh, in a way that everybody left that place alive? Well, um, it's, uh, I don't, you know, the disappointment might be a word. I mean, um, it's more the people that are in it. The people that have created the, situ the situation are the ones who really choose how it comes out. So, you know, in a matter of responsibility as a negotiator, I'm going to do as much as I can to get the people who are in it to cooperate with me to come out alive. Um, but if they don't come out alive, it's not really – it's not my choice. Um, it's their choice. Everybody has the option to come out and surrender at any given point in time. If you miscalculate when you should surrender and you meet a bad end as a result, um, that's just the nature of it, unfortunately. And now, I don't, you know, forgive me for not being able to get uh, <laughs> accept the word disappointment, but it, well, it doesn't really factor in. Still, uh, the piracy situation is going to continue. Certainly, do you think uh, negotiators are still going to have a role to play in that part of the the world? Yeah, I certainly hope so, um, because negotiators would prefer peaceful resolutions to these situations. And uh, very, very, very briefly, uh, say, can there be a conflict between the negotiators' tactics and those, uh, say, of the Navy SEALs? No, um, the, the tactics work in a complementary fashion, uh, hand in glove, if you will. Um, so it's not that they're in conflict. It's, uh, they, I think they really complement each other. Thank you. Thank you very much. That is uh, Christopher Vons, uh, who is a, a retired negotiator uh, for the FBI. Thank you.